Are you guys ready to see what we are going to be creating? We are going to freshen up a pillow cover. Okay, look at this precious cow. She's peeking around the corner. We're going to freshen up this pillow cover and we're going to make it completely different. So, you are going to need a glue gun with fabric glue sticks. Okay, they are Sure Bonder fabric glue sticks. This is what I recommend. If you do not have fabric glue sticks, it's not the end of the world. Guys, I have a little selection of crystals. And guys, look at the beautiful colors. Aren't they beautiful? And these kind of reminded me of shape of a leaf. So I don't know, we'll see how we're gonna work them in. You're gonna want a pillow cover of your choice. Now, but I really want the colors muted a little bit more. So if I just wanted the colors muted, I could paint it and then add some bling. But I love to use silk flowers. I like to bring silks in and show you how you can use inexpensive florals and make something fabulous. Okay, so that's what I'm going to show you today. And the Totally Dazzled just brings it up a notch. Because yes. this is fabric, the hot glue will go through the fabric. You do not want it to go through the fabric to the other side. So what you're going to do is you're going to unzip your pillowcase and you're going to place something in between, a piece of cardboard, a piece of parchment paper, a silicone mat. I actually have this, it's got some plastic on it. It's just a, I kept it so that I can use it for things like this. It slips right in that pillow and it's covered, okay? So this, I, I just, I move it around and make sure it's exactly where I need it. So it's right, it's like this. So it is covered where I will be hot gluing. So that'll pop just right out. So what I do next is I figure out where I want my big flowers. I know I want to use some of these whites, some of these pinks, and I've got purples, okay? Let me see here. I want to add a little blue to this. I think blue will be beautiful. I also would like to add some yellows. What do you guys think? Tell me in the comments what you guys think. Okay, so I think this is kind of what we're going to go with. All of these flowers, you're going to take them apart. And how you take them apart is... All the flowers are a little bit different, or some of them are a little bit different. You pull off the green piece, okay, like that. And usually it'll pull off, and then you just start taking the flower apart. So there is one part, and then it's got this little cup right here that's holding the flowers up, but I don't want the flowers to be held up because I want to put the bling in the middle of these flowers. So I'm going to pull that piece of plastic off and pull this off, okay? So I'm going to pull these pink flowers apart. So here's the flowers. I want to use some greenery to put underneath my flowers. So this is going to be, let me see, I only have one of these purple flowers so I'm going to put this big one right here. Okay, look, isn't it pretty all right? Got these, this one's about dry. Okay, 
Okay, we're gonna kind of do the same thing over this way. That's okay, this is not, oh. Well, you know what? I'm gonna clip this off and just make this a little white flower. Okay. So, so far, this is what we have for our cow. Okay. We're going to grab my scissors. Now, I'm going to bring in, I've got some little purple flowers that look like they have, they're on leaves. I've got some violet. I think violet will be really pretty in there. I've got these yellow ones. So we're going, oh, and I've got the blue. I've got the blue. We are going to start, let me get my yucky scissors. We're gonna start, we're gonna clip the excess plastic, okay? And I ended up with something like this. And her eyes are right here. So I could like put one sticking out in there. First, uh, we're gonna cut these and see if we wanna use them. Okay, I don't like this here. We're gonna look at that. I'm trying to see it upside down a little bit. I see that I may just add my yellow there and then it would kind of go with it. Let's see. Hey. You. Okay, guys. Oh, Y'all. Okay. We may be doing a necklace. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Right here. Look at these beautiful colors in the bling. Now, this one, I believe, is a... Well, let me see. I have to look. It's aquamarine. This is an aquamarine. Okay. This is another aquamarine. Those are gorgeous, actually, aren't they? Um, some of them have button backs on them. We'll cut those off. Oh, here they are. Okay, so I'm just going to break this off and I just very gently rock it back and forth. And Oh my gosh, I love her. I need, okay. So, let us let me turn her back around to you. Now, I'm gonna pull this off. And see how it just pops off because it's got that plastic on it? So that's nice. Now, I'm gonna pull it down here to the corner where the cow's neck is. We're going to cut some bling wrap to fit our little cow's neck. Let's see. I'm going to cut two strands. Now you wanna go light with this glue on things like this because it does stay white, but that's not gonna show through that really. And I just 
happen to have a couple clear crystals. And I think I like this one. This is a pillowcase cover, guys. So you will stuff your pillow in it. And I'll show a picture of the pillow form stuffed in it. You saw how easy this comes together, how much fun they are to put together. Totally Dazzled sells sparkling rhinestone wedding supplies. Check us out at totallydazzled.com. But before you do, click up here and download our free printable sparkle quotes. Or click down here and watch one of our other awesome tutorials.